what's up everybody my name is Tony and I am here with another Warframe guide video and in this video we will be looking at the Baza Prime before we get into the build let's take a look at appearance real fast and I have here a Tequila skin for this weapon all right so straight up onto the build I only got two builds for you guys and when it comes to this weapon this is not an assault rifle this is a submachine gun and as always you want to fire as fast as possible as well as inflict as much status as possible so when it comes to critical chance it's decent or not decent it is decent actually at 70 percent but uh, with the ribbon yeah you don't want to get a ribbon for this because look at how much you get from that so 100 percent critical chance with 150 critical chance is 98 i mean you do get like 98 percent of critical chance hitting so uh, when it comes to criticals it's not a big fan of criticals but when it comes to critical damage multipliers um again not a big fan as well but almost close to good so i'm gonna show you guys the damage on this but first let's take a look at the other build here so i have another build here that's great actually i would say it's pretty good except the part where the prime cry rounds is so if you guys want more status replace prime cry rounds for the 60 60 status chance mods otherwise the best status for this weapon is viral uh corrosive i'm afraid it won't do viral is a lot better because of the fire rate when it comes to the exit mod slots like always vigilance applies because he eats up bullets like crazy and when it comes to the very last mod slot here where it's where the blade of rounds is you guys can place whatever you guys want you guys can place heavy caliber if you guys want. Obviously, I have no space for that. You guys can place prime shred if you guys want for extra fire rate. You guys can place whatever you guys want. Again, uh, vigilante supplies maybe. I mean, vigilante armaments if you guys want. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the vigilante armaments one though. Uh, Blair rounds, I don't know why I have that on, but you guys can do it if you want because of the critical damage of, of 120%, I would I would nail like probably around uh, 8 or 9 critical multiplier. And that's pretty big. So I'm going to show you guys the Vigilante Armaments, then I'm going to show you guys the Blade of Rounds uh, version of this. Alright, so let's go for the first build first, and that is level 170 Heavy Gunners with no Arcanes and no Companions. Starting with Body Shots only. I may have hit the head by a few times, but no, that's not that's not big of a deal. I do have Punch Through on my Ribbon, I forgot to mention about that. So I do have Punch Through on this with Critical Chance and Damage. So let's go for the Headshot this time. Not bad, let's try one more time, let's try one more time. Let's go for this guy right here. Yeah, it's not that bad. Again, it's a Baza, so it does shoot uh, pretty fast. And for the Riven for this weapon, yeah, that's the Riven for that, just in case you guys missed that. Now, for the second build, I'm going to show you guys the Vigilante Armaments one. So you guys compare the damage as well. So here is the Body Shot only. And then we're going to go for the Headshots here. I'm going to switch to the uh, Blader Rounds version. Now, obviously, you have to kill something first before you can proc the critical damage thing. So let's go ahead and like, get a kill first. There it is. And let's go for a headshot. There it is. Let's go for a body shot. Let's go one more time for the headshot because that was pretty quick. And let's go one more time just in case. I missed a few shots. <laughs> let's go for one more time. And that is the critical damage. Obviously, if you know all your headshots, you probably do more damage, but I did miss a few shots here and there because they keep moving. But again, you know, when it comes to the second build, again, later rounds or vigilante armaments for you guys if you guys want. I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna split um I'm gonna switch it to vigilante armament, um, vigilante armaments just just cuz. Just cuz. You know, just for the extra damage, I guess. So that is the two builds for you guys. Again, you can always replace the Prime Cryo for 6060 status uh, Frost, but make sure that you guys use Viral. Uh, corrosive is okay, but it doesn't do more damage than Viral does. And when it comes to uh, Radiation or Blast, yeah, you guys can use that if you guys want to. If you guys are going to fight against Corpus, obviously you want to replace all the status mods with Toxin only, and you, you'll kill Corpus like crazy. So those are the builds. If you guys like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to support my channel. Hopefully this video helps you guys a little bit on Baza. It's a pretty good weapon, and it's pretty weak as hell. It's a lot weaker than Soma, to be, I'm afraid. But it's still pretty good because of the silent uh, uh, passive ability it has. So thank you guys for watching. Until we meet again, you guys, peace out.